Hey guys, and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 instructional video. I am your professor, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through 10.2 protein formation. Let me just ditch off these headphones. You don't really need them at this point. Put them over here. All right, so now we're going to start talking about the amides, otherwise known as the peptide bonds. You might want to write those down in your notes. Very important concept. Now, a peptide is 50, uh, sorry, 49 or fewer amino acids put together in a chain. Now, amino acids and pep, uh, sorry, peptides and proteins are always written in a certain way. The N terminus is always written on the left hand side, and the N terminus will be the unreacted amino group. So let's just draw an example NH2, and there's my alpha carbon. Let's make this a very simple amino acid. There's glycine. So amino acids are always written this way with the N terminus on the left. And the C terminus will be on the right. So this is the N terminus here. This is the C terminus here. They're always written that way. And now when another amino acid, let's make this one blue. Oops, I'm sorry. Back that up. There's the alpha carbon. We'll make this another very simple amino acid. There we go. They're written exactly the same way with the N terminal side facing the left, C terminal side facing the right. No problem. Pretty simple. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a peptide bond. We're going to make a peptide bond. Okay? Now, when this happens, I want you to think that this nitrogen and this carbon are going to go ahead and make a bond. Okay? That's just what's going to happen. The carbon and the nitrogen are going to make a bond. Now, when that happens, you get a condensation reaction. You get a condensation reaction. So let's draw that. NH2. H, H. There's my carbon. There's the carbonyl. Changing colors now. N. There's H, C, H. There we go. There we go. And that's the product you get. Now notice, notice, That's an amide. That's an amide bond. But now, it's connecting two amino acids. It's connecting two amino acids. So the better name for that is peptide bond. Now, a peptide bond is indeed an amide bond. But an amide bond does not necessarily have to be a peptide bond. Peptide bonds are amides that connect amino acids. They're amides that connect amino acids. Okay? Those are what peptide bonds are. Now, uh, just to finish off this, uh, this uh, slide, I guess. There's my purple OH from the purple amino acid. And here's my blue H from the blue amino acid. Okay? There's your molecule of water. These are indeed condensation reactions. Okay? Notice, on this amino acid, there's the nitrogen side. There's the carbon side. So the N terminus is always on the left. It's always on the left. Now, um, basically I just explained all that slide. Sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to explain that slide. I just did. Now, some definitions here. A biologically active polypeptide containing 50, there's the magic number for the amount of amino acids, that's called a protein. If it has 50 or more amino acids, it's a protein. If it has less than that, 49 or fewer, you would call it a polypeptide or simply a peptide. Okay? Now, there are some other names we use, such as uh, dipeptide when there's two amino acids. So dipeptides, two amino acids, di is two, right? Tripeptide, three amino acids. Tetrapeptide, four amino acids. About, about tetra, people stop using the whole, the prefix, uh, ditries and all that. They start using poly somewhere in there. 
it's really up to the to the to the writer what they want to say. I mean, you could say decapeptide if you wanted to. It's just no one really does. People would start saying polypeptide by that point. So it's kind of ambiguous as to where the the number suffix prefixes stop and poly is just used. It's kind of ambiguous. Personally, I go up to five. I say I've said pentapeptide in research papers before, uh, but I've never said hexapeptide. I've always just said polypeptide from that point on. So you know, just a little bit of knowledge there. And that's the end of uh, 10.2. 10.2 is a very short but very powerful chapter. Make sure you can identify a peptide bond. Make sure you can identify a protein, 50 or more amino acids, and a polypeptide, 49 or fewer amino acids. Okay? Pretty short chapter, but very powerful. Nitrogen's always on the left, carbon always on the right. That's how it's written. Very, very powerful stuff. Don't forget it. Okay, guys? All right, now with that, I'm going to wish you guys good luck and good chemistry.